Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys stopping by. My name is Shane. Uh, today we're in the backyard. And what I want to do today was put up a little protection uh, for the German Shepherds and for us as well, a little confidence booster for us. Uh, for you guys that have been subscribers to our channel know we just put in a new fence in the backyard uh, for the dogs so we don't have to worry about them running off if we happen to go out to eat or something like that and they don't destroy our house by leaving them in the house uh, for a few hours. So this is going to be a game changer for us raising these German Shepherds, Mia and Odin. Uh, but what we, what we wanted to do today, or what I want to do today is I want to put electric wire along the bottom of the fence, right along the bottom, all the way around, uh, so we don't have to worry about them digging out. You have the, the Mia's a big German Shepherd. We worry about her climbing over, uh, but I don't, I'm not as worried about that as I am her digging under. I know German Shepherds are huge diggers we've seen her in the garden we've seen her she just digs everywhere uh, so far we've been lucky we only had it up a week and she hasn't dug at all she started to the very first day there was a little spot here but uh no really sign no real big sign of her trying to get out and dig a huge hole uh, but we're going to go ahead and do put up a little preventive measure uh we're going to put up electric fence i'll show you the electric fence we got uh, it's nothing like for the pigs it's not a huge uh, electric fence that we got for the pigs it's a nice small little electric fence for chickens rabbits and dogs a little small fence stick around guys i'll show you uh, the supplies we bought to do this if you've never done this before stick around because you're really going to like this because i've never done this before either i'm super curious how this is going to play out uh, but let me show you what we got all right guys hey sweetie hey mia showed up <laughs> all right guys the first thing this is mia for you guys that are new to my channel uh the first thing you're gonna need guys is a unit. I bought all this stuff at Tractor Supply. It was super cheap. Uh, this was only like $32. It's uh, AC powered, so I have to plug in, watch out girl. I have to plug in uh, from the house with it uh, to get power to it. But it's a point, I mean, it's a 0.07 uh, joules outlet, um, two mile charger. That's, bas that's basically all we need. It's a really small yard and we're only running one strand. The only thing, I've already opened it up. I just put it back in the case so I wouldn't lose everything. But the only thing I didn't like about this is all you have on the back is a plug. There's no holes or anything to, to mount this thing anyway. It sort of looks like it's set up just to plug straight in the wall. And I'm almost certain that's what it is. Uh, but we don't, of course, we don't have a plug back here. So I'm going to have to rig up somehow to strap this thing to the fence. Um, I'm going to have to. Figure out some way to put this thing to the fence. I thought about mounting a two by four and sort of drilling some holes and, and mounting it. Uh, but then again, I have a ton of wire, so I may just wire it to the fence and see how it works. I'm hoping that we only have to plug it in for a short while. They get used to it, kind of like the pig. Of course, the pigs test it daily. But um, I'm hoping that they get used to it and just know that, hey, we're not, supposed to, we're not supposed to touch that wire. Or if we ever see any signs of digging, we'll just plug it back in for another couple of weeks. Because I don't want to leave it on full time. I don't want to leave it on all the time. But um, but it seems like it's pretty simple. It's a ground wire, power wire. I'll show you all that. Just no way to mount it. So stick around. I'll show you how. i got to figure out how to mount it. The next thing we got is we got a couple of these little gate handles. we got a couple of gate handles. Uh, we have two gates. So I put uh, I got one for each gate. I probably didn't need one for the small gate. We just stepped right over it, but I definitely need one for the big gate. We put a 10-foot uh, double gate on this side, so if I need to drive my truck and bring stuff into, in and out of the house. Uh, but I got two just in case. I got two uh, little gate handles where we can hook a wire and, and remove the wire so we can get in and out of the gate. All right, next, I bought these chain-link fence insulators. And I'm going to show you these things. <laughs> I've already experimented with these things before I started the video. They are a, an ap, they're an absolute pain in the butt to put together. And I'm going to show y'all me putting them together. Uh, this will clip to the fence and your wire will run across this insulator right here. But the hole is so tiny for that screw to go in. It took me forever to get all these screws. There's 10 in a bag and they're pretty cheap. I think they're $8 a bag, something like that. I have a receipt I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, but they're a pain to get these little insulators on here. That screw is way too big for the hole. And I, st I stabbed myself in the finger about four times trying to do it. But I'll show you guys. Y'all can see me stab myself some more. Uh, hopefully these work really, really, really well. They seem like they're going to. And next, you're going to need some wire. Um, 
I've, this is a 17 gauge electric fence wire um, red uh, red brand i've had this forever we we bought this when we did the pigs um, you don't have to <laughs> have this much i'm one of those just buy buy big and hold on to it and you'll have it forever so we got some more plans with this wire but need some wire uh, i would say a wire cutter i brought a, um, a pair of pliers i brought this screwdriver for those uh, little insulator clips but i ended up using a drill anyway it just seemed like it's a little easier with a drill um a ground rod you'll need a ground rod but i didn't buy one because the people that had the house before us have a ground rod on each corner they had electric fence back here uh when we when they lived here uh, so i'm just going to use their ground rod i even bought a clip for the ground rod i don't need it because both of them have one on there uh, and and you could prob possibly get you a test or two uh, i want to see how that thing's firing i'm not sure if it pulsate pulses or not uh, it really didn't have a lot of instructions and stuff with it but um we're gonna check it out well guys there is absolutely no way to mount this thing anywhere um there's on the unit there's no screw holes there's no latches there's no, nothing and it didn't come with anything this is basically all it came with so what i was going to do was just sort of wire it up up here on the edge of the fence run my hot wire down and start running it down the road or down the <laughs> down the road down the fence uh, and i think this will keep the dogs from messing with it it's a little high uh, i'm sure mia could jump up here real easy but i'm thinking that hot wire will prevent her from doing that uh, the ground rod is right here behind me. We'll just run it down and tuck it onto this ground rod. I'll show you that. But stick around. We're going to try to figure out how to wire this thing to this fence. I'm really curious how this is going to work. Well, it doesn't look super nice, but it's on there tight as it can be. Tightened all the wire up. I just I just ran it behind the back, twist a couple times, ran it over, twist, ran it over, and twist. That kept it from going up, down, left, right. I mean, it's on there. That sucker ain't going nowhere. That was pretty simple. Now let's uh, start playing with these insulators. Like I said earlier, guys, these were an absolute pain. But you take this uh, little clip, you want this insulator and a screw. Put it through the top of that cap, and you're going to try to screw it right into the top right there. And uh, I tried a screwdriver, and it's just impossible. Well, look at that. Of course, I'm videoing. <laughs> that was the easiest one so far. Super simple. <laughs> all right well i don't know what was wrong with that last batch but i couldn't put them things together i did get them together but that was a lot simpler i wonder if it was because i bowed them out they put a little curve in there i'm not sure if that helped or not but that batch was a lot easier all right well there's 10 per bag uh, and i bought two bags that gave me 20 uh, there's, uh, 16 spaces. I count them out. There's 16 posts. So that'll give me one for one in between every post. And then right here, we'll just have a, a regular wire with the handle on it. Uh, so that ought to work out good. I just guessed when I was at the store, I said, give me 20 of them. I guess that'll work. So let me get to hooking these up. Uh, never done this before. Hopefully they, they, they work out as easy as that last batch and you can just slap them through the fence.
All right, well, I left the dogs out. I didn't want them standing here when I plugged it up uh, before I put a tester to it and all that stuff, but it looks really good. Um, we ran the cord uh, down. The only plug we have is up on the front porch, so we ran it up through there and I got it plugged in. All I gotta do is plug it in. We got this thing on here really tight. Power right wire is ran all the way around. The ground wire is ran down to this grounding rod that was already here. Um, but dang, it looks really good. Uh, but looks don't really matter if it don't work. So we're going to put this thing to the test. I'm going to plug it up, put a charger to it, and see what it's doing. Let's put a tester to it. This little tester here, you just insert that into the ground for a grounder. Hook that up. And it should, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pulsing. It's pulsing 7,000 all day long. It, it, it actually looks stronger. Let me get this on video, hold on a second. All right, y'all see that? It is thumping. That actually looks like it's hitting harder than the hog pen. All right. <laughs> now for the final test. Uh, I know everybody's wanting me to try it. If I'm going to put the dogs to it, I ought to put me to it. I'm, I think I'm going to do it like a good shot of medicine. Let's see what happens. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's something else. Everybody ought to try that. <laughs> it's not too bad. Uh, I don't think it had the shock. Let me fix this camera. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think, I think that's supposed to be good for your heart, isn't it? I don't think it has quite the shock uh, that the hog one had, the one at the pig pen has. The one at the pig pen, it'll lay you out. That thing has taken me down. Uh, but that's not too bad. That, that ought to be just strong enough to keep the dogs off of it. Got my sinuses moving. But uh, that wasn't too bad, guys. That was super simple. Hopefully this will help to keep the dogs from digging under the fence because um, they get back here. I mean, the German Shepherds, they're going to dig. They're going to dig, and everybody's telling me they're going to climb too. So if they do start climbing, we'll end up taking it up and around the top too because I, I can't, uh, we can't have our dogs getting out. We just live so far out in the woods, and we've sunk a lot of money into these dogs too. This is my wife's new little thing that she's doing is trying to raise up uh, AKC registered long-haired German Shepherds, and eventually – We'll start putting them up for sale once we start having puppies and stuff. Um, and you, all of my YouTube subscribers will definitely get first shot at uh, picking up some puppies. Uh, they're just going to be beautiful. Uh, uh, we just fell in love with them. They have a great personality about them. They're just the best dogs ever. But living out here, um, we don't want to take a chance of them running off. They've done really good, though. I let them out all the time, and they, they basically stay right here. They don't go no further than the Muscadine Vineyard. And they love to go to the chicken pen. They go over there all the time. They've never grabbed a chicken so far. Excuse me, but they love to chase them around and stuff. And I have to get on them every day about it. But but uh, they're just great dogs. This ought to keep them in the pen and, and keep them from digging. Hopefully that's, hopefully that's all I have to do. But guys, thank you so much for checking out my channel, checking out my video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, don't cost nothing. Click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. We got a lot of cool farm stuff coming. Uh, new baby quail, chicks, ducks, pigs. We're still working on the vineyard. We got a huge garden I'm about to start uh, working in this week. Um, I actually have three gardens for you guys that haven't subscribed. Come check us out. See what we're going to grow this year. Super excited about this summer. Um, spring is right around the corner. It is right around. And I am ready for it. Guys, thanks again for watching. Love you guys to death, and we'll see y'all on the next video.